a katira a tina tato a tato i runga tahu a tango te a te te ata nai a kote me to te he mehi no reira a inga uri inga falo inga hapu inga iwi omo kai pate nui tonu a tina kuto tina tato a piki mai a kake mai o mai te wai ora ki au e tu te hua na kua na kei he te mana wai te po 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 ki au ki au a ka au a tia ai a kote me a tuarua a kahuri au ki a ra to ki nga ki nga tini ai tua na mate kei wai ngi nui o tato a o te wā o te tau a kua wai a tu ki tua o te arai, uh, oki oki, oi anō. Uh, Kauri au kia, kia tātou te hunga ora anō. Uh, uh, nau mai, uh, ngai te ohake, uh, piki mai, uh, ngāti hauiti, whakatau mai rā, uh, kia ngāti whitikau pe kia tainoa, Kia ngāti tamo kōpiri, uh, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou, nau mai. Nō reira, kia whai kororia ki te atu i ronga rawa, he mau ngā rongo ki ronga te whenua he whakaaro pai ki ngā tangataka toa, whiti whano haromai te toki, hau me e hui e tae ki e. Kā tira. Thank you all for taking time out. Um, this morning, Sunday morning, uh, for this hui aruhe. Um, we had planned originally to hold this uh, atinana as well as utilising uh, Zoom, but conditions are such that we thought prudent that we hold it via Zoom for now. Before we kick things off, I'd like to hand it over to um, Lavinia, who will take us through some housekeeping. Uh, kia ora koutou. Um, so those, I think everybody that's registered and is online at the moment has been on to one of our hui arohes previously. Um, so just a reminder that um, if you've got Fano with you uh, who aren't on your registration, just please add their names into the chat or Q&A list so we can keep a record of attendance for our hui today. Um, also, just let you know that we do make the presentation available um, on the website uh, that'll be up next week and we do record this as well the uh, presentation part so we can also uh, have the video available on the website as well um, we don't have permission to live stream um, because that information is made made available on our website and um, the and we also don't uh, give permission for people to take screenshots and share them over social media but by all means for your own personal use kapai Um, thank you, Lavinia. We've got this presentation today in two parts. Um, the first part is basically um, an update on where we're at with our settlement process. The second part, though, is the more exciting, I think, and interesting part, which is about um, where, we, where, we, where we've got to with negotiations. And we'll have our um, negotiators most of our negotiators are here today and they'll both present as well as take questions and answers. Um, but for that, I'll just go through some of this, um, uh, what some might say mundane uh, things because many of you have already heard this anyway. Um, and uh, But it's okay, it's still worthwhile um, giving this overview. And that's really what I'm going to be doing today is uh, for the next maybe 20, 20 minutes, if that, an overview of where we are at in terms of the tribunal and in terms of our negotiation. Thank you, Vinia. Mm -hmm. Have that off. Thank you. We process 
and you've got that, I think. Um, so we're just going to, of course, um, spend an hour, if that, if we need it. Uh, to, and the, the panellists will potentially include myself as well as the negotiators. Thank you. So where are we at with the Waitangi Tribunal? I can report that we're finished. We're finished, we've come to the conclude, uh, we've concluded the hearings um, way back in um, at the end of last year, October of last year in Wellington. And as you can see on that um, slide, what I like about it is you can see all of the hearings that we have been involved with, um, including right at the beginning, the two hearings we did for the Kōrero Tuku, Tuku Iho. So 1789 hearings um, since 2016. What a mission, i got to tell you. It was a mission to get through all those. And I must say, it was a sigh of relief that we had when we got through the the end the one in Wellington, uh, which was made even more difficult because of we were right, in, right in the middle of COVID. And um, uh, there were restrictions on our on attendance, including our attendance at that particular hearing, uh, which was a shame because we were keen to, you know, have a good, good representation um, um, in that hearing, um, but of course, as I say, the restrictions of COVID prevented that from happening. So we can see there all the all the hearings we had. Um, on the next slide, we'll just see, and I'll basically remind you that <clears throat> the um, Waitangi Tribunal are now in their report writing phase. Uh, we've asked, and indeed, it's been confirmed that. Um, they are looking at releasing an early section of the report based on landlocked lands, which is, of course, one of the uh, special factors um, with our negotiations. We'll talk about more later about that. Thank you, Anit. Um, very quickly, we're, we're part of the way through our settlement negotiations, real agreement in principle. And as you can see, there are other parts to the to the process, but if we flick over to the next slide, you can see, of course, where, where we are at in terms of that process. Um, uh, we're in the uh, agreement of principle phase. Still got a few more to go, as you can see, and every every time we have hui, um, uh, we put this up, and at times, and sometimes, we're able to move one step forward. Now, to be fair, it's going to be like 18 months before we get to the next, before we complete this phase or thereabouts. Um, so I won't be moving quickly, but it's just a reminder of where we are, where we are at in this process. Kilda. Um, 